I'm Sue Page, and I lost my husband, Greg, the love of my life, a few years ago. And I'm going to share the process that I went through and hopefully help you to move forward. Before I begin, though, I have to let you know that I watched several grief um, videos, and I was really surprised at the how depressing they were, the music and the crying. So I'm going to let you know that this series of video blogs is not going to be like that. I'm going to try and share practical advice um, that can help you make some moves to rebuild your life. So I'm going to start by sharing three themes that I um, cover in my book. The first is, it's all about you. As sad as it is, you're the one that's alive, and you have to figure out how you're going to move forward. What can you do in your life to recapture some of the joy that you had before you lost your spouse? And a lot of people will try to tell you what to do, but my advice is don't let anyone tell you what to do. Maybe it's the first time for you to be a little selfish. And that may sound strange, um, particularly if you have children. But you know that if you're healthier and you're stronger, your children will be happier. So don't let anybody tell you what to do. Think about what works for you and do whatever it is so that, it's, so that you remember it's all about you. The second theme is move through your grief and not around it. So a lot of people will tell you to just keep busy, just don't think about it, uh, and time will heal all. I'm telling you that you should do the exact opposite. You should dedicate time to do what I call the grief work. Um, find a time of day um, where you can sit and reminisce about your spouse. For me, mornings with my cup of coffee really worked well. Um, try to find a time of day um, that you can stick with and do the same time every single day so it becomes kind of like a routine, at least for six months. And during that time, journal. Write down what you are thinking about your spouse at that point in time. It's not for anybody else to read. It's just for you. So reminisce or write down what you did yesterday. Write down about what a terrible night you had. Uh, or write, write down what you're going to do today. You'll be amazed when you go back and read your journal a year from now, how, hopefully how different you'll feel a year from now. So that's the next step, is work through your grief and just don't go around it and let people tell you to just keep busy. And then the third thing is do one thing. So when you get up in the morning, just do one thing. Now that one thing may be just getting dressed for the day, putting your clothes on. Um, or maybe after you do your grief work and you sit down and do your reflection and journal, maybe you get up after that and just do one thing. And maybe pay, paying a credit card, um, making a phone call that you need to make. You know, after losing your spouse, that pile of things to do is just enormous. And just doing one thing every day instead of looking at that pile and thinking, how are you ever going to get through that? Just do one thing. And one thing every day does add up. And it does count. So remember, it's all about you. You're the one that's alive. Work through your grief, not around it. And do one thing. Until next time, bye.